All right, the ultimate hangover cure. Maybe it's the Irish coffee. Right, so the Irish coffee. Well, this is going to be really quite a quickie because it's really rather a simple drink. Uh, it's gotten very, very famous mainly because of a bar called Dead Rabbit in New York City. Now, if you're going to have an, any Irish coffee in the world, it's going to be a Dead Rabbit. I mean, it's just epic. It's phenomenal. They're absolutely wonderful at what they do. But the whole idea of adding uh, cream to coffee has actually been around for a very long time, at least into, by the 19th century, where the Viennese coffee houses had drinks called like the Fisker or the uh, Farisian. All right, where it was just coffee with cream and then different flavors added to it. Now, also adding alcohol to coffee has also been around for a while as well, because the French called it the Gloria. So really, you should just call it a morning glory. Maybe not the best word for a cocktail, but actually there is one called the Morning Glory already. And the Morning Glory Fizz. Yeah, I know. 200 years ago, I don't think they quite realized the connotation of the Morning Glory. <laughs> right, so a bit more on the history. Here we go. So there's uh, one or two people who are sort of credited with doing the, uh, the well, the Irish coffee. Um, right, the real person I'm going to go with is a guy called Joe Sheridan. Now, at the... Uh, the a flying boat terminal called the Foreigness Air Base, um, which was very common, by the way, flying boats back in the 1940s in, in Ireland. The guests were having a really bad day. They basically, I think the plane flight had been cancelled. Uh, it was raining, it was cold. It's a very small um, airport because, you know, it weren't big back then. And so he was the head chef at this place and he decided to put this drink together. This is around 1942 to 1943. There is someone else that supposedly has been um, also credited as well, it's called uh, Stanton de la Plain, who is supposedly a San Francisco travel writer, and he supposedly brought the drink to San Francisco at the Buena Vista Coffee House in San Francisco, and they started producing it on the 10th of November 1952. Now, also what happened was later on in the 1950s as well, that Joe Sheridan ended up coming over to San Francisco and working at the Buena Vista Coffee Shop. So I'm going to go with Joe Sheridan, all right? He's the one. And this is what you do, and this is how I like to put mine together, and it's a mixture of loads of different ones, but this is what I do, and I generally do this at home, okay? So what you're going to do is, Put some hot water in a glass, a nice little coffee glass, and keep it warm, okay? It's really rather simple. Empty it out. Get yourself an ounce and a half of Irish whiskey. Now, it's up to you how much whiskey you want to put in, but I'm putting an ounce and a half, all right? Okay, put it in, there we go. Then, I'm using a very rich syrup. So I'm, only, I'm gonna put literally under a quarter of an ounce, all right? But you can put more in or you can put none in, it's up to you, all right? Just give it a little stir. Add your coffee. Okay. And then, here's what I do. You can dry shake your cream if you really want to. I have a wonderful little machine. All right, and I've got one of these, I'm gonna put it in. So let's get some uh, whipped cream. Do the usual test, check that one it's in date, which is usually a good thing. And then of course, obviously, give it a good shake, get whipping cream, right? Rather important, okay? And the other one, the smell test. Yep, we're good to go. So I just pour a whole lot of little cream in there. If there's any left over, you're fine. Have it with ice cream, you're gonna be good. And then what I do is I add Ah, just a little bit of sherry to mine. Literally, just a quarter ounce of sherry. All right. Oh. Okay. Just I just got uh, which one did I get? This one today. I got the mandolina. And then get your little machine because I love this. Whip up your um, what the. Right back after refreshing the batteries because the machine decided to die on me. So slight technical glitch. 
get one of these and I'll whip it up. All right, there we go. Yeah, baby, whip up that cream. Oh, a little bit of sherry in there as well. Rather nice, okay. Then, after you've done that, get the back of the spoon, and just pour your cream over the top, okay? Like so. Yeah, there we go. And then do a little nutmeg dusting, okay? And Bob's your uncle, there you go. An Irish coffee. And it's just a beautiful, wonderful thing. And when you're feeling like shit, and you need a bit of a good hair of the dog, this is the fucking dog's bollocks. Now, fuck off and get home safe. Mm. You still fucking filming? Asshole.